Hello everyone, and welcome to part two of the small cargo SSTO Kestrel class. Well, um, I figured out what the problem was when we landed in the last video of this collapsing. It's because it's actually attached to the structural fuselage, which is only attached to the advanced nose cone. So I'm thinking as soon as it hit the ground pretty hard, this bent inwards, which popped all of this up here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to change that and we're going to put the landing gear directly on the cockpit. Just zoom in here until I find, there we go. There we are. And uh, we'll just bring it up. That way it's tied directly to the cockpit this time. All right. Let's go ahead and make sure we got the lights situated just right. It was a little dark in space, just a little dark. Lights on. All right, there we go. I made all the lights kind of match the color. So if it's a, if it's a, if it's like a black texture, then it's a black light, white texture, white light. Just try to make them all over the place, but at the same time, I'm gonna bring them in just a pinch. That way they're kind of more in the actual structure and not kind of weird looking like this one is. So what I'll do is I'll take this one, flip it around, try to make it more organic with the design, kind of blend in just a little bit better. Bring that in, that, and I just blend it in a little bit better. I still want to be able to click on it, see, so I don't want it, I don't want it to disappear because then I'll be having to put my camera inside the actual craft, fishing around for it. I want to try to avoid that, so I just want it out just enough to where I could actually highlight it. There we go. That works. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, we still had that problem with the COM and the center of lift being a little too close together when it was really low on fuel and no cargo, pretty much light as a feather. So I'm going to try to remedy that by first First turning off all these lights because everything is so bright I cannot see what the hell I'm doing. All right, much better. I mean, yeah, I could probably put on a, uh, a winglet or something like that, and that would probably help. But if I can get by without using without without using a canard, then the that will mean that the um, design or the craft will be more stable. If I have to continuously use something like canard or a buttload of reaction wheels, then it's no longer really stable, is it? It's it's kind of all over the place, and you're just kind of adding parts on it to make it work. But if we can streamline it, then that's even better. Streamline it so that it can work by design without having to have a whole bunch of stuff stuck to it just to make it work. Uh, see here. I need to bring that further back. So how would I go about doing that? I can add more. Hmm. I could add a wing bit right here. Just a small one. Oh my gosh. That like really brought it forward. Just a little bit of change right there and suddenly it's like pow. If I don't want to make this thing too nose heavy. Hmm. Oh, I see why it's pointing down. That's the problem. Okay. We don't want that. Yeah, see how drastically it changes when I do this? Let's try to keep that <laughs> far away. Okay, that makes more sense if we bring it like that. So that little piece right there is starting to bug me. I don't know why. It feels really out of place. And I don't, I don't want it to feel out of place. It just does. Why does that feel out of place? Uh, I hate this feeling. Mm. All right, that looks... Mm, that looks slightly better, actually. It's almost like something that's like covering the very top on the way out. It would look cool if it didn't go extend all the way out like that. I don't know. Hold on. Let me try something. I mean, it looks good. I don't think it's going to add much of anything. Lightweight. I mean, if anything, it, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of like it. I, I like I like it. But is it going to hurt me in the long run? Is it going to bite me in the ass? I don't know. You see, when I design and build things, I try to make it I try to make it aesthetically pleasing. But at the same time, everything has a reason to be there. Form follows function. So not, not only do I try the form follows function approach, but I also try to make it look good at the same time. But those have no function whatsoever. They are simply for aesthetic purposes. These right here. These right here, of course, have function, and that is to pull the center of lift back a little. These right here have zero function. Hmm. One could say that this also is for aesthetic purposes, that there's no reason to have this whatsoever, that it only adds weight to the craft. So, all together, I think this little piece right here could slide. Okay, good, good. I'm glad we talked about this. Yeah. Okay, a few more things before we do this. 
And that is, of course, the probe core trick that I was going to do. Okay, we so we need a probe core that has uh, the ability to actually lock on target for prograde. And I know that the update changed a bunch of stuff. Like some of these can do prograde, some of them can't. I mean, I realize that in settings you can opt out of this. You can have all the probe cores do everything. But, you know, what's the fun in that? There we go. Okay, so it does it does do prograde good. That's what I like to see. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll take it and we'll just pop it over a little bit, maybe a little bit more. All right, that should be good. It's a good little angle to stay at. We'll we'll have to see. We'll have to test it out and see. All right. So the idea is is that when we're re-entering, re we click on this pro uh, probe core and it will keep the nose up as it's following prograde because it's already at an angle. So while the nose is actually in front at an angle of attack in front of it because the prograde uh, because the probe is tilted it believes that uh, that point is down here and so it will actually turn the craft like this in order to point directly at what it believes prograde is so it'll constantly try to make the craft keep at this type of nose up position as it goes through the atmosphere kind of nice little trick i do like it myself and of course every space plane definitely needs an emergency parachute system let's make it so you can't really see it because they are a little bit on the ugly side all right, so we have parachutes. We have re-entering ability. Dun, da, 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 da. Awesome. Let's do this. All right, let's see what the flight characteristics are. Being sort of nose heavy. Oh, well, that's uh, it's nice. It's funny when I make space planes, I go for a very delta design. That is a that is pretty. I will say this: that is very pretty. That's a pretty ship. Okay, well the lights look really nice now. They're covering more of the craft. I mean, not everything, but it definitely covers more. Yeah, I like it. It's really nice. Okay, so we are in uh, the final stages of re-entry. Let's go ahead and grab that probe core. Control from here. And here we go. Well, I didn't expect it to uh, re-enter all the way around the world, but uh, yeah, at least the concept of this thing works. Isn't that right, honey? Yeah. Mm, it's fine. Okay, let's regain control here. Control from here. Hey, what are you doing? Where are you going? All right, so Ooh. there you go. Okay, uh, uh, we are over the highlands. Never a good thing. Our altitude, 16,000. Speed, 700. Completely pitch black. Can't see a damn thing. But that's why we have instruments, right? This is, this is why we have instruments, so we can see in the dark. You're not a real pilot if you can't use your instruments to fly in the dark. Still over, gla 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 still over glasslands, which is kind of like a grassland, but you don't want to land on it. <laughs> We're getting awfully close to the land, 800, 600 meters in closing. All right, I'm popping landing gear. Ah, there it is. Land ho. Looks like I'm coming in for a nice glide, and uh, it's easier to control now. Definitely fix the... Uh, Center of mass and center of lift problem. All right, here we go. Touchdown, baby. Touchdown. Crowd goes wild. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. So sexy. All righty then. This is awesome. It's finished. It has everything. Emergency parachute. All the goods and goodies. Extra fuel. All the goods and goodies and goody gosh gosh goodies. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Yes. Very much so. Mm. 
Well, everyone, there she is. The Kestrel class SSTO. Small cargo spacecraft. Thank you so much for watching. I am Veos. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Share, like, and subscribe.